Normal traffic movement was not affected this morning along Imphal Ukrul Road and Imphal Pangai Road during the 24-hour road bun call given by Mohammed Helem Joint Action Committee today. However, passenger vehicles were not seen moving on Lamlong Komidong stretch of Imphal Ukrul where all shops down shutters. Bun supporters at Kairang Mamang Lekai obstructed traffic. There, a skirmish issued between police and bun supporters. No untoward incidents were reported. A 120-member team of Thangta players from Manipur, including six officials, have left Imphal for Tripura to participate in the upcoming 8th Thangta Federation Cup 2019 to be held at Swami Bevekananda Sharda Sattabhar Mishiki Bhavan, Dharmanagar, North Tripura from June 12 to 15. While Thangta Federation President H. Prem Kumar Singh flagged off the team from ISBT Kumar Lampag Imphal this morning. The second edition of Northeast Food Tech 2019 will be held from June 13 to 16 at Maniram Devan Trade Center in Guwahati, where the exhibition will be mainly focused on bakery and confectionery, sweets and snacks, catering industry. Vice President of All Jiribam Road Transport Drivers Union, Pratap Sanasam, has strongly condemned the act of threatening two of its staff collectors and pulling down of signboards kept at the branch office of AJRTDU by unknown miscreants last evening. Talking to media persons early this morning at the branch office of AJRTDU, Gularthol Thong Wangma, he termed the act as unfortunate. The number of people arrested in connection with a human trafficking ring unearthed by West Jensia Hills District Executive Force on June 2, 2019 has risen to 12. The investigation is still going on to nab others involved at the earliest, said a police report. For the smooth conduct of the seven economic censors in Assam, the state government has constituted the district-level coordination committee with Deputy Commissioner as the chairman. Former Union Minister Susma Swaraj took to Twitter last night to deny reports that she was appointed as Governor of Andhra Pradesh. An Indian college intern in the US has been sentenced to five years in prison for providing tech support to a telemarketing fraud scheme that duped about two dozen senior citizens of their retirement savings mounting to nearly one million US dollar. Viswajit Kumar Jha, 21, the ringleader of a group of Indian college students doing hospitality industry internships in the U.S., defrauded the senior citizens aged between 58 to 93 years. Lee Hee Ho, a South Korean feminist activist who fought for democracy against dictatorships alongside her husband and future president Kim Dae-jung has died. She was 96. U.S. Secretary of State Michael Pompeo announced that he would visit New Delhi at the end of the month as he previewed comments that he is expected to meet at an India Ideas U.S. India Business Council event, the India Ideas Summit connecting cities and states which will be held on Wednesday and Thursday this week.